<coughs> so guys, in case you haven't been following up on Twitter, I've been a little sick. Um, also got kind of a new job and uh, yeah, uh, just kind of got a little overwhelmed by everything. That's why quick tips and uh, other videos have kind of been going a little slow the last two weeks. So slow that's been actually not really anything. So uh, let's get back into the fray with another quick tip. This quick tip is from the LARP guy, which is also another LARP channel here on YouTube in case you don't know. And uh, yeah, I've actually not seen that much stuff from the channel, but I know of it and I know it's there. So you can go check it out if you want to. Uh, let's show some support to other LARPers here on YouTube. Anyway, the quick tip is... In the US, certain craft supply stores, such as Hobby Lobby, have 50% off sales quite often. You can get a great selection of bottles for very cheap. I normally end up spending half a dollar to one US dollar per bottle. Now, personally, I'm a little reluctant to share quick tips that are promoting stores uh, and link to places, but I, and again, again, I also kind of want to get the word out uh, and support local stores and LARP stores. Now, I know Hobby Lobby is, I don't think that's a, like a local store. I think it's kind of like a chain. But um, the reason why I bring that up is also because it's kind of what I do myself. Um, there's a store here in, uh, in uh, Denmark that's called... Uh, Tia or Tiger, I think they're supposed to. Uh, I think they're supposed to rebranding it the uh, Tiger of uh, Copenhagen or something. Flying Tiger of Copenhagen. But like the LARP guy is mentioning, uh, in these uh, hobby stores, or this is not a hobby store; it's more like a dollar store. Uh, you can sometimes get things for really cheap. Like for instance, in in Tiger, you, I got this. Um, actually, yeah, we got a couple of these. It's like a mini shots glass. And, and it's uh, made out to look like uh, what would you call uh, it, chem a chemistry set, but it's shot glass that's meant for meant for drinking. I'm not gonna use these for drinking. Well, maybe I am, but maybe not. Uh, I'm actually gonna use these for LARPing because they're brilliant. They look really cool, uh, and they have different colors. And the the cool thing about them is that they're made out of plastic, so I don't have to worry so much about them breaking while I'm traveling uh, really far to a LARP or something. The bad thing about it is that I'm probably not going to be able to pour any hot liquid into this because the plastic um, probably can't handle it that well. Just keep in mind to go into look into some of these stores uh, like hobby stores or dollar stores or other places like that. And I mean, we have our recycle stores. This is from a market somewhere. I can't remember the name of right now, but, but this is like from a... Um, this is a chest from a from a market we bought, and this is what we're going to use for the inn at the, the local LARP that make vlogs from, which, by the way, are also coming. I'm just a little slow. I'm editing them. Uh, and I like this chest because it's a little bigger in the wood than the normal one you can get. Like, the, the really, um, it's more like for show. The, the, the normal chests, the new chests that you can buy are more like show chests, like, um, what do you call it, uh, display chests where you put them in a corner or something and they look really nice, but the wood is really flimsy and they can't really handle anything. This is kind of like, you can almost, uh, I think you'll be able to stand on this and it would uh, actually not break it. I, I don't want to stand on it though, uh, but but I do think that it could take most things. Uh, it could handle most uh, things you throw at it. Uh, whereas the other ones kind of break. Uh, but that's like, that's our uh, recycle stores, uh, markets, uh, flea markets that's the word flea markets but you can but you can find some of the most weird and uh, probably also a little more sturdy stuff like for instance this one in, in dollar stores this is not a crystal ball this is actually meant for uh, what's it meant for it's meant for uh, spices to, to grow spices in and, and grow seeds in uh, but for me, it's a crystal ball, and I'm going to build something out of this. I know some in the comments out there. Um, I posted a picture of it on Instagram. I know some put some, and I know somebody put a comment that they actually bought the same thing, um, and they're now looking forward to a tutorial on it. So yes, that is coming in the future. Uh, just haven't really figured out what I'm going to do with. It. I think it's going to be something with some electrical lights, but like this, or if you want something like cheap diamonds. This is like 
this here. And rubbing the glass. Whew. Okay, I just said these were really like a little more sturdy. I brought this, I dropped this on concrete floor right now and it's not broken. Although I do think it have a scratch inside of it. So uh, yeah, just putting it out there and now I'm gonna put it away so it won't break more than necessary. You go stand over there. My point is here, like you can get really weird, all the weird things that you wouldn't normally buy. Uh, it could be flasks, it could be sort of a novelty thing like this or the, the crystal ball or, ah, or, or these, which I, you can't probably see, but it's kind of like plastic diamonds that you use for, um, what is it called, uh, flowers? flower decorations. You could use that in a LARP for a prop uh, of some sort. Um, yeah, look in stores and not only thrift stores and flea markets, there's a lot of other stores. Hobby stores in general have a lot of really good stuff. Although I would be a little careful about uh, buying small bottles, especially um, especially if you buy them like from uh, from here where they have like a cork Thing in the end because they're usually not that tight they're usually just meant for show or display and they're not meant for usage so if you are going to a hobby store and want to buy these thing make sure that uh, that you're getting the right thing or ask about it if it's can this handle to be used by like carrying water in or something else that you want to carry in a bag so we just don't end up with a wet um, wet bag because the cork screw or the cork thing wasn't tight enough. It wouldn't be completely safe, you could put it into some plastic. Or do like me and just reuse some old bottles that did contain liquid. But going into these dollar stores or Hobby Lobby like the LARP guy mentions, or Tiger or other stores, they have a lot of great stuff. It's a lot of, well they have a lot of crap, but they have a lot of great crap that a lot of us people can use, probably. Uh, anyway, that's the end of this quick tip. Um, oh yeah, that's actually also where I got these skeletons here behind me. I don't know if you can see them. I also got these from that, that type of store. Uh, these are also kind of like dollar things and uh, show off things. Or yeah, I could start from I could start taking everything down from in here to show you guys. There's a lot of things behind me and over there and yeah, I'm not going to show you ev everything, every last uh, detail or thing I have in this little LARP cave. So, just uh, tell me in the comment section is what you guys have found in dollar stores or the cheapest thing you might have found for this. I think this set here is a really awesome thing. I don't know if they still have it though. Um, really, really great, especially with something like as clumsy as me where I kind of almost broke this. And this is really thick glass, by the way. So, leave a comment say, leave a comment down below telling me what you have bought in these uh, dollar stores or Hobby Lobby or what, what sort of cheap, weird thingamajig you might have bought that you could use for LARP. Or um, do, if you have any suggestions on where people can go to find these sort of things. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe button if you want the new LARP Force video to pop up in your notification feed. No, that's not what it's called. It's called subscriber feed here on YouTube. And you can hit the bell if you want to be notified. And as a last thing, you know the drill. If you have any quick tips, tips and tricks, be sure to leave them down in the comment section below. And that way we can share it out uh, with all the LARPers in the rest of the world. Take your LARP quick tips and advices and share it out with all the other LARPers out of the world. And that way we all get a little smarter. Yeah, but besides that, I have a bunch of videos I want to edit. I have a lot of tutorials I want to cover. And um, yeah, uh, by the way, this is supposed to be for some uh, alchemy thing, just in case you're wondering. And I know that some people out there has requested this. So uh, yeah, it's going to come. It's just, I'm sick. I'm a little stressed. So give me time. We need to chill. I don't know what I'm doing with these. But besides all of this, I'm going to see LARPers later. Bye.